Hey guys, just want to do a video on my personal thoughts on the Wave Plus versus the Free P4. Uh, kind of want to really touch on things that I really don't hear other reviewers talking about. I'm not going to dive into the details of the tool sets and the, <clears throat> the size and the price and all that stuff. I'm trying to really focus on my personal thoughts on it and again some of the things that either people aren't thinking about as much as I am or it's not as big a deal to them as it is to me or uh, maybe they haven't been using the tools long enough to, you know they just unbox it and you know they're not thinking about these little small details that I'm gonna go over here so kind of got a list I'm gonna try to run through um, so starting off the bat is actually tell you what let me get this is it. I say I have a couple waves. <laughs> I want to make sure I had the one with the pocket clip on it. So I want to talk about the pocket clip design a little bit. Um, so a lot of people like this design better, and I get that. I like. I personally like this design better for a couple reasons. One, um, <clears throat> this one is what I call a true deep ride, where when you get your pocket um, lip of your pocket up into here, you are all you see is this. You know, to the casual onlooker, that could be a pin. Uh, most likely they're thinking it's a pen, but flashlight, whatever. And in most situations, I couldn't care less if somebody knows they have a multi-tool on me, but sometimes I would rather them not, especially in like more of a kind of formal environment. And this one is much flashier. Um, obviously, this one's polished, but you also see this sticking out. It also has this much gap pushing your pocket out. This one, I have this in my pocket. The jean pockets pretty much just roll over. You can't even see the top of this. So it's more comfortable. It attracts less attention. And I carry um, a gun at three o'clock, um, OWB. So anytime I can avoid uh, attention towards that side of my body, you know, by my, by my hip, my right hip, the better. So anyway, that's my thoughts on that. It's also just easy to replace this one, just pull it off. Or if you want to go to a sheath and take it off, it's a lot easier to just take on and off. So um, that's kind of my thoughts on that. Again, I'm gonna try to move through these points kind of quick. Uh, so this doesn't end up being too long of a video. Um, next thing is, is the Wave, or excuse me, the Pre P4 has what I call a pinch point right in here. A lot of times when I'm flipping it open, I'll catch myself. I don't know if it's right here necessarily with my index finger, but somewhere I'll catch my finger in those, man, it hurts. <laughs> and yeah, with practice, with your, if you're paying attention to what you're doing, shouldn't happen. But a lot of times we're working, we're not thinking, we're reaching down, grabbing our pliers. You know, one-handed in this case is supposed to be the, uh, you know, the value in it. And I just kind of get tired of that. With this, um, there's really no way I've found to pinch yourself, you know, realistically. Yeah, you could force your, your finger up in there, but there's no like natural pinch points in it per se. Uh, next thing is the plier strength. Uh, I haven't broke either one of these before, but I do feel like the free P4 is a little bit stronger. You start looking at some of the thicknesses. I think it may be a hair thicker. I'd have to get my uh, dial calipers out, but it's just a little bit beefier all around. I would trust it a little more for uh, twisting off a zip tie or um, prying with it a little bit or whatever. And, uh, you know, again, I haven't broke either one, so I can't say for sure, but I do feel like this one is a little bit stronger. Uh, the scraper that comes on the serrated blade is a nice feature. Let's see, where's it at? There we go. Try to do this on camera. Um, that is real nice. I would, I'm actually thinking about doing something similar to the serrated blade on my Wave. Um, just filing this down, uh, similar to this. And I may give that a try. You know, it's just handy to be able to pull it out, scrape a piece of tape off something, whatever. So I do give the uh, free P4 some points on that. The mini driver, I know a lot of people think that it's a waste of space on the Wave, or the Charge series. And personally, I think it's a very useful tool. I use it for a lot of things, mostly not even a screwdriver task. Um, two main things I use it for regularly is cleaning out the port on my iPhone, that the charger gets clogged up with lint and dirt and stuff. And uh, it's a perfect tool to reach down in there and just move that stuff out the way and get it out of there. The second thing I use it for a lot is pushing the pins out of my gun. I carry a Glock, but you know, it could be for other brands too. But you know, pushing those pins out, if you're out somewhere you don't have a, a tool with you, it's a perfect diameter and size and strength to push those out. With, you know, with this, there's no options to really get that pin out good. And those are just two examples. Um, plenty of other situations. A lot of times bigger screws, if they're recessed back in a kid's toy or something, you can reach back in there and it'll actually turn them. So uh, again, I find this very useful. I'm surprised how many people say they think it's a complete waste of space. 
I don't know if they're just using, trying to use it for small bit, uh, screws, which yes, I rarely, rarely have to remove a screw that small. But uh, you know, if you start thinking outside the box and using it for other things, personally, I think it's a very useful one. Again, you don't get that on the, the P4. Uh, let's see, locking mechanism. I do prefer the lock on these, um, on the P4. It's, I just feel stronger to me and smoother and just better design all around. With that said, I've never had an issue with the way this works or the way the, um, the blade lock works. You know, I'm not using it for super hard tasks. Um, a lot of times I can take care of hard tasks like cutting zip ties or heavy wire with the pliers on this. So I'm not usually really cranking down on the, the uh, blade. And so I've never had an issue with this. I just, again, small preference. I kind of do prefer the lock on this. Uh, blade options. So with the uh, P4, as far as I'm aware, your only choice right now is the factory blade that comes on it. Maybe they haven't Googled it, but maybe somebody's making a Damascus or something like that. Um, with the uh, Wave, you can, uh, which you actually see what I've done here is I've got an S30V blade off a of TTI on it. You can swap those out pretty easily. You can also do a uh, 154CM off of a Charge Plus. Um, so you do have a couple options there to upgrade the blade. And if you're like me and don't even carry a dedicated folder, um, having a, a nicer blade still is a big plus. Not a, Obviously not a requirement, but I do feel good if I have a one tool option like this that I've got a good blade still that's gonna hold up for a while. And let's see, next is the file. Um, you probably know this, and, and this is actually something a lot of YouTubers talk about, is the uh, the file on this, to me, is almost useless. Um, you know, a file is kind of like a saw. You need to have some length to use it properly, and the file on the uh, the wave is just, shoot, can't see here, um, is really nice, especially with the diamond-coated side. Um, you know, having an extra inch or inch and a half there makes it so much more usable. So big points for that on this, and yeah, it's almost a joke on this. Uh, let's see, next thing, tape measure. I know this has a, really it's a depth gauge on it, but the uh, the tape measure on the wave and the surge and the, the uh, charge is something that I use quite regularly. Uh, you wouldn't think you would, like an eight inch tape measure, what good is that doing? But it's surprising how often that is handy. So I do want to carry this, I do miss that feature. And it seemed like something that had been really easy to add to the inside of this, uh, just the same as any of the tools. So I'm, I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Uh, the bit driver, again, something that's, uh, that people do talk about a good bit, but I'll just mention it too, is I do think that having a bit driver is a big advantage on this, uh, or ex you know, a exchangeable or changeable bit driver, I guess I should say. Uh, of course, this just has the, uh, the Phillips one size and then your uh, flathead there. And personally, I like having that bit driver. It just gives you a lot of options, of course, with all the uh, the bits that you can get. Uh, you know, obviously the big thing with the P4 is the one-handed operation. You know, that's, um, uh, it's claim to fame, really. Well, what I found is, is, and I'm not going to do it on camera here. My camera setup isn't the best, but I can't open everything on this one-handed if it comes down to it. Uh, the pliers are the easiest part. I can just sling this thing open easily and if, I'm in, if I'm holding something up with one hand. And uh, all the other ones, if I put my mind to it, I can also get to, of course, the, the blade, which is the most common thing you need. Perfectly easy to get to. Um, but everything else in a pinch, I can get to it one-handed. So obviously this is a little bit more designed for it and easier to do, but I, uh, um, just my point is, is that it's not that big of an advantage to me because when needed, I can use this. I'm gonna say 90% of the time I've got two hands uh, when I'm working to open this anyway. So not a huge advantage for me on that, but obviously you know, the type of work you do or if maybe you have a disability, that can be a, a huge advantage for you. But again, my personal thoughts on it is, is that's not a, a game changer for me. Uh, let's see, I got a list here I'm looking at. Um, okay, the flathead on the uh, P4 is something I really do like. Let me open it up here. It's, um, what I like about it is it's really stout. I mean, you know, I, obviously we all use these things for light pry bars, even the one on the Wave. And, you know, I don't crank down on it. I've never broke one, but, you know, popping up a, a paint can lid, something like that. <clears throat> I do like how stout that one is. And obviously it takes up some, some thickness there that you're losing for something else you could use. But, uh, 
I do like that on the P4. <clears throat> And the last thing on my list, which this is something that uh, bothers me a good bit, and again, I've never heard anybody talk about it, is, I'm going to open these up, the pliers, is the uh, the comfort of the plier handles. So, if you look at uh, <clears throat> the P4, this area in here is just not <laughs> conducive to be comfortable. You've got these things sticking out, you've got this sharp point, or if you look where your palm catches it, right there, when you're really cranking down on those, you know it. I mean, it's digging in good right there. With the wave, that's to me, it's one of its biggest strengths, even over like the charge, is how nicely rounded this is. It just feels so comfortable in your hand when you're squeezing. And, um, you know, yeah, that's some people may not care less. To me, one of the big advantages with Leatherman over like say a Swiss Army knife is the, um, the pliers themselves. I mean, they're a plier based tool. I use the pliers probably second to the knife the most, and I've really cranked down on stuff. I've cut 12-2 Romex wire with these things when you really got to put some force on them, and barbed wire, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And again, yeah, you can get by with this. I just wish they would have designed this um, in a different way. I know they had other requirements to get around. They had to put these locks on here somehow, but I just wish I could have been rounded more and uh, made more comfortable design like this was. Obviously, it was a, a design element on these. I'm not sure why they didn't prioritize it on this. Um, the, uh, I don't know if you could modify these somehow. I hate to get in here and start grinding on this. I have done a little bit of um, smoothing with some sandpaper on some of these edges just to kind of file them down a little bit. But in terms of like heavy duty grinding on there, I mean, before too long, you get into that pin and then you, know, you really can't take off much before you lose that. Plus, it's just going to look ugly and i don't know but again probably not going to help that much with what you could actually do there but again that's my biggest gripe i kind of saved that for last and it's more or less because i just didn't put any thought into it it's not so much that i can't live with it and i really do enjoy the p4 you know if the wave didn't exist all we had was this i would be a happy man but i um i do prefer the wave with all these things considered and it, this one is my uh daily driver but again, I do like carrying this. It's definitely an interesting tool and glad to have it in my collection. Uh, yeah, just again, just some things to think about here. I wanted to make a video. I know I'm not a professional YouTuber or anything, but I just wanted to put some thoughts together on it because I've been messing around with these for, I don't know. Well, I've had this one for a while. I had this for about a year now and I use them. I use this one much more often, of course, but this one I have used and just wanted to get some of those thoughts out there that I don't hear much about and uh, get your guys' thoughts on it too. So anyway, appreciate you watching. Thanks.